Hey guys, this is Bonnie coming at you from thebooth.com with your final review of the 5D Mark III to your 5D Mark II. Sell it. There we go. I know if you're shooting with the Canon 5D Mark II, you want to know, is it worth the upgrade? In this review, I'm going to tell you the significant advantages of the Mark III. The biggest difference in the Mark III is your ability to shoot in low light. The ISO range on the Mark III is much wider than the Mark II. This feature comes very handy when you're shooting music concerts or anything in low light. The Mark III, the ISO range is coming at you at 12,800 and the Mark II ISO can only go up to 6,400. Shooting in low light or at the discos, not a problem when you have the Mark III. The Mark III has the headphone output where you're able to monitor your audio. This is a huge advantage. You were never able to do this with the Mark II. Now, this is so much better when I can actually hear the audio I'm shooting. The body model of the Mark III may look very similar to the Mark II, but there are some key differences. One being the lock option where you can press lock in which mode you select. Second, there is your zoom in is no longer on the right hand side. It's now easy access for your left thumb zooming in and out. And also LCD screen is now wider. The layout on the feel of a Mark III is very comparable to a 70. Mark III now has two slots for memory. One, your compact flash. Two, your SD card. This comes in handy when you're running out of memory and you need space fast. Oh, my memory's filling up fast on my compact flash. No worries, I've got my SD. Now you have the key differences between the Mark III and the Mark II. Now it's up for you to decide. Is it worth breaking the bank? 